Good to see you guys. Welcome to Travel Tip Tuesday. I decided to do a video today instead of just typing out what my travel tip is for the day. So welcome. Thanks for being here. Kenzie King coming at you in front of my map today. So a lot of you might know that when I travel, uh, I, hi Marianne, when I travel, I usually travel only with a carry-on. This is due to me hating to wait at the carousel after my flight lands to get my bag. It has to do with me not wanting my bag to go to the wrong place. And I like to have all my stuff with me. I'm like a little pack rat with, with my stuff. So I'm all about the carry-on bag. And in that, you've got to know how to maximize space, right? So there's a couple different methods I'm going to show you today. Some people swear by the rolling method of your clothes, rolling your clothes up. And I was dubious about that, I'll be honest. I thought, well, if I just have my clothes and I just cram it in, in any like nook and cranny space available, that's obviously going to be better for space saving than rolling it up. I don't know now, after my last trip to Florida, because, hi Tracy, because I honest, I, I admittedly rolled my clothes up on the return, and I think they actually fit better than on the way there when I just crammed them all into empty spaces. So this is how you do that. Oh yeah. You get your trusty sweatpants, which we know take up a lot of space in your luggage. Fold those bad boys, and you guys, if you don't know how to roll up your clothes, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's, well, what I'm gonna tell you now is this is gonna be like earth shattering information on how to roll up a pair of sweatpants. So good thing you joined in, good thing. So you fold them in half, you get them as flat as you can, and you wanna know the next step, you roll them. <laughs> this is easier on a flat surface, but you know what? We can make it happen. Okay, you roll them. Oh my gosh, that was so hard. Okay, well. Now who's to say, I, I need to do a comparison, you know? I need to get a bunch of things that I'm gonna pack. I need to roll them, see how much space I have left, and then I need to cram them in to the empty spaces in my backpack to see how much space I have left. That might be my next adventure. Okay, so you roll it up, you put the dang thing in there. Now shirts, my trusty green shirt. I always get teased about this green shirt because I kind of wear it almost every day in the winter. <laughs> Fold it up, sideways, get your sleeves, laying on there as flat as you can, and roll it. You guys remember, I think I mentioned before, that um, bean commercial, roll that beautiful bean footage. That's what I always think when I hear roll it. Okay, those are, okay, so here's one method, okay? They're rolled up. Now, again, I'm gonna have to do an experiment to see what's a better method, but you can see that is pretty tight. Those can get really packed in together. So there we go. That's one method. Now another one, <clears throat> my folks are actually um, going on an adventure of their own, and so they're packing their suitcases. And they are using, wait for it, i got to bend down and get it, space bags. See? They're using these. And I'll tell you what, they have put so much stuff in here. They are, um, they put a bunch of pillows in here and they, they sucked it with the, with the vacuum and man, those pillows got really, really flat. It's great for blankets, for bulky like coats because when we travel to places like, I don't know, the Caribbean, <laughs> it's easy to pack because it's like a swimsuit and a sarong, right? For, for us ladies, uh, I guess men can use those too. And so that's very easy to pack for, but if you're going somewhere cold, like Alaska, I know Tracy's uh, going to an Alaska cruise. That's a little more difficult. 